Hi, Rachel. Hi, how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Have you had a good week? We've had a great week, yeah. We were moving into the offices and that's what that happened on Monday. Mm -hmm. um, so the office move went really well. Mm -hmm. It's taken some time to settle in and make sure that everything is working properly. Everybody's got their computers, everybody is settled, but I think even by Wednesday we just felt it was the, the perfect place for us to, to have moved to. Oh, that's really good. It, it's it's good to have a nice environment where you want to go into, isn't it? It's, Absolutely. Yeah, and um, did you feel that everything went along according to your plan or were there things that went better than expected or not as good as expected? Actually, the, it everything went well everything we didn't have any concerns we didn't have any major problems uh, and actually what has been really nice is we've had a few visitors uh, a couple of our suppliers came along to give some uh, team members some training on some mm -hmm. systems and we had a new team member who's joining us he he came in and his mum came with him mm -hmm. and they were just really excited about the space um, and the environment that we're working in and I wasn't quite expecting that positive reaction from people that's what I was hoping would happen yeah um, so it's really lovely that people are engaged because we're now in a sustainable living centre uh -huh. in the facilities owned by Bricks and Bread so, oh right yeah okay so, uh, completely sustainable mm -hmm. uh, it's a great environment because it's not corporate offices it's uh, on a um, it's actually an old timber yard so mm -hmm. there's um, a lot of activity goes on uh, we've got sculptures artists craft makers and lots of things happening all the time um, yeah so it's just a really really nice environment to work in and trudy is lovely as well isn't she she's amazing she's so inspirational and really I, yeah amazing. It was so good talking to her. Every time I talked to her, I felt so energized. Yeah. I know, and, that's, and it's great for us because we're working in collaboration with them. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's really nice that it's really nice to have, have that uh, support and the collaboration here, mm -hmm. which is, for me, it's what social enterprise is all about. It's about people working together for the benefit of the community. Yeah. So and that's what really gets me. Yeah, sorry. What do you feel you did right um, for everything to go along according to plan? Um, I think we, there, there was myself, um, our finance director Emma and our mm -hmm. ops manager Dawn mm -hmm. and we all knew what we had to do. Um, right. So we all knew the roles that we each had, we all work together so we moved out of the other offices last week and we all took part in um, packing the furniture packing the computers up everybody got on board i came in last saturday um, and moved most of the things in so that by monday we could just plug the computers in and everybody would be pretty much set up um, ready to go and and i think because of the concept of the way we're working is that you can start working if you have an internet connection. Yeah. As long as we had the internet connection, then we could just carry on working. How? What do you think has been the best way that you found success? I think it's working in collaboration with people. I think it's building the right relationships. It's seeing where there are common uh, common ground, where we can help other people mm -hmm. um, and where they might be able to help us. So we had a great client meeting on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, it's not. it wasn't a client meeting. It was working in collaboration with, another, with a steering group. Um, and out of that meeting, um, I made a suggestion to uh, one of the other members that we could help them with setting up an incubation centre. Um, so we're going to see them next week and we're going to look at setting one up in Oxfordshire. So it's just meeting people, building the relationships and seizing those opportunities when they present themselves. Um, and I think that's really what's helped us to be successful and being passionate about what, what we believe in. Yeah. Um, there's the, it's, very, it's very rare that we have a conversation about money and pricing and cost um, mm -hmm. because actually that's the least important factor for us um, actually having the impact on the community um, is the most important thing.
Alright, because um, earlier I was talking to Bridie Nelson, who I'm also uh, interviewing for the video diary, and she said that mentors are very uh, helpful as well. So what are your thoughts on this? I think it's useful. It's interesting because I... I am actually a coach as well. Oh, right. And I'm a mentor of a company. But I know that I look to the non executive members of our board mm -hmm. uh, and our secretary who are not involved in the day to day operations of the business. So I know they're there if I need guidance. Um, somebody like Trudy, for example, who has helped set up many organisations, she's very entrepreneurial herself, is also a great if and when we need it and I think that if you know how to engage with people um, when and before it, you know before things become an issue and mm -hmm. you're able to talk to somebody who's slightly removed from the business as well that can be it can be useful um, so what can we look forward to for next week well next week our focus is actually about preparing for our new website launch okay um, we've launched that on the 28th of August Mm -hmm. Oh, exciting. It's very exciting. Uh -huh. It's also the same day that we have uh, six new team members joining our organisation. Mm -hmm. um, so next week is all about preparing for the new induction of uh, team members for the following week, mm -hmm. preparing for the website and a few client meetings as well. Oh, fabulous. All right. Anyway, so I look forward to talking to you next week then. Look forward to it as well.